So you started vlogging at home, you want to step things up and you're also trying to elevate your content. I'm here to meet professional vlogger Lok Chung. He's going to talk us through things like improving your audio quality, how to film while you're out and about and also how to film B-roll that's going to elevate your content. Lok, lovely to have you here again with us. Please tell us more about what you do. I'm a vlogger and I do camera and tech reviews. Amazing. And what are we doing here today? We're going to talk about vlogging on occasion on the go. So what kind of skills are we going to be using? We'll talk about how to get comfortable shooting in public. Uh, we're going to talk about getting good audio in outdoor environment. How to get different variety of shots and getting a lot of B-rolls. Amazing. Let's go. When it comes to vlogging, how do you begin to create more interesting vlogs? One thing you can try, go to different places, mix it up a bit. What kind of situation would that be? Well, I guess it depends on what kind of vlog you're going to do. So for me, it's quite natural that I should take it out to actually use it in real life environment. What would be the challenges when you take it outside? There could be two things. One is that you might be uh, a little bit shy in the public. How do you overcome the fear of shooting in public space. At the beginning, you could go to somewhere quieter, just gradually build up your confidence. Try locations that you're comfortable with to become super comfortable doing it. Yeah. Another thing is, in some places, you might have to get permission or you're not allowed to shoot at all. How do you go about getting permission? You can try to send them an email, just be polite, but if they reject, then maybe just move on to alternative. So even though you've got permission to shoot in some of these locations, like, yeah. is there anything else you have to be aware of? I think it's not that you've got permission and then you can do whatever you want. You still want to be polite, respect, generally be nice. Mm -hmm. Why is it important to vary your location? Well, it makes the video more interesting, more engaging. It also helps to tell a story. Uh, the location may be related. If I'm going to reveal a tether lens, I may have to shoot some wildlife or standard lens, maybe it's street photography. When you're shooting out and about or on location, what's your go-to camera? Actually, I think on the table, the R8 and R6 Mark II are both really good for vlogging. Okay. But personally, I would go for the R6 Mark II because it has in-body stabilization, so the image come out would be much more stable. Gotcha. And if you were to be shooting with the R8? R8, yeah. And what advantage are you getting on this as well? This uh, is much lighter, a little bit smaller, more affordable. So. Maybe this is good for like travel vlogger. I see you have a bag there. What do you need when you're going out and about? What do you have to pack with you? Bottle of water, SD card, a grey card, lenses, more lenses, anti filter, essential for video shooting. And also power bank. When you're really desperate, you can actually charge your camera with a power bank. What kind of different shots do you try and get when, you, when you're out and about? Rather than just holding it and keep talking, putting the camera down on a tripod, grip like this, mm -hmm. just give it a little bit more uh, variety. So when you're shooting out, out and about, you're shooting handheld, mm. how do you make sure those shots are smooth? Without any stabilization, then it would be really shaky. But Canon have in-lens stabilization. They have that for many years and it has been really good. But now this R6 Mark II, it has in-body stabilization as well. So it works with the lens stabilization, give you much more stable image. There is also a digital stabilization built in as well. That combined with in the body stabilization, lens stabilization, give you the best stabilized image. It looks like the camera's got you covered. You get a nice smooth vlog out yeah. of it at the end of it. If we were to storyboard, you know, what you're going to get for the day, are there like different kind of shots that you're going to be getting? When I prepare my video, I do sometimes write down specific shot I'm going to get. Get more B-rolls, you get different bits of uh, your environment, for example. So when you are editing your video, you can cut into those B-roll to make the video much more interesting. What other settings can you use to make your vlogs better when shooting out and about? I think when I'm vlogging, I don't have brain capacity to also keep changing settings when I'm thinking about what I'm going to say. So auto exposure just makes sure you won't get 
nasty surprise when you editing. What about things like your white balance? White balance is that you set the color temperature on that location. After you setting that, the color would be much more easier to color correct when you're in video editing. Do you have any tips for recording good audio quality when you're out and about? I use the lapel mic. This is uh, one of those uh, wireless mic that is these are really popular because they are getting really affordable. When I do travel vlog, whole day I will use shotgun mic. This not as noise resistant <laughs> as, as a lapel mic, but you can use this like all day long. This is a digital one as well from Canon and you don't have to even plug in the audio cable. Gotcha. So in situations where you can't use a lapel mic, you can't use your shotgun, what then? I would just use voiceover later. Like in video editing, I would just add in voiceover. And speaking about editing, are there tips that you can give us? One thing I always tell beginners is that to keep the editing slappy. Don't make it longer than 30 seconds. Cut to another person, cut to a B-roll, and cut it back to what you were saying. In some cases, some might have shot so much in terms of shooting from morning till, till night. Do you have any advice on which parts to pick? Planning in advance is important. When I plan, I know what I'm going to shoot rather than, oh, I shoot everything and then come back out. I don't know what to do with so many clips. In summary, get your permission, be polite, and take the right kit with you, whether it's your microphone for good audio, right camera body, and the right lenses as well. Any other tips and tricks that we can take away with us? I think we'll be just try to mix it up and build your confidence to shooting in out and about. Well, guys, that's it, and I uh, hope you've learned a thing or two, and just get out there and keep shooting and build your confidence. And make sure you check out all the videos in the Canon Learning Series and subscribe for more. We shall see you next time.